We are the heartbeat of Seattle. Hi, and thank you for stopping by. Today, I wanted to discuss with you the ongoing battle I'm having with the Seattle City Council. I call and I ask for information and they refuse to give it to me. This last time that I called, I asked about the homeless in Seattle and what is being done to stop the spread of the coronavirus throughout the homeless population. King County has put at least 400 people that are in shelters into hotels. One person that was in the hotel that tested positive for the coronavirus left and decided he wasn't going to stay there no more and he went back to the tent city where he was staying at prior. Now, nothing was done to this gentleman for putting the, the greater threat onto the city. Now, I don't think a person should be punished because he's sick, but when you knowingly have a virus and you decide that you're not going to take care of yourself and you know that you could possibly put the greater good at risk, I think you should be put up in jail until you are done with the coronavirus and then you should be let go. That's what I think. That's me personally. Now, I could be wrong here but I don't think I am. So, what do you think? How do you see this? You live in Seattle. What do you see happening? Do you see this going on for much longer? Is there anything that's going on that uh, shouldn't be going on? Now, the homeless that are in the tent cities, they have nowhere to go. They're stuck. They're outside. They've got nowhere to hibernate. They've got nowhere, to, and they can't stay in their tent all the time because they have no way to store groceries like people that have apartments. They can go to the store, they can get groceries, and they can store up for the winter. The homeless in Seattle living in the tent cities, I understand, yes, for the most part, they choose to stay like that. They say they don't, but I know that a lot of them do because they cannot handle living inside. They like living in the wild open, and that's fine as long as you're not putting the residents around you at jeopardy. So, what do you think? Should um, the homeless in the tent cities be gathered up and moved to an indoors? I keep saying there's three Sam's Clubs that are not being used. You could gather up the tent cities and you could move everything they've got into those places and spread them out where they're far enough apart to where they won't. And you could bring in food to feed them. The city could do that. I have talked about that with one city council member and they said it's not cost effective. The Sam's Club is just sitting there. It's not being used. It's just taking up space. That is what I think is the best thing to do. Take all of the tents, move them into the Sam's Club, spread them out to where they can live on their own and they can function the way they want, within reason, and they can be fed. And they can have doctors come in and look at them and stuff. But that's just me. How do you see it, Seattle? Do you think it's worth a go? Because this is not going to get any better. This virus, now I'm the conspiracy theorist. I'm the guy always wearing the tinfoil hat. Now, I believe, I believe that our government brought this over here to the United States from Wuhan. I think our government brought this over here. And I believe that there's people within our government that are trying to do population control by killing off a lot of seniors and killing off a lot of homeless. And I believe that it backfired. A lot of more people got sick that wasn't supposed to. Just like when crack was introduced into the inner cities. Crack was supposed to be a way to keep black folks down. That's how it was brought into. But a lot of white trendy kids out in the suburbs decided that they wanted to get high as well. They liked crack and they wanted to smoke it. 
So now you got a lot of white folks that are getting high on crack. There you go. It doesn't always happen as planned, but let me know what you think about this. Um, put a comment below. Uh, if you know something I don't, put a comment below. I would really appreciate hearing from you. Also, um, if you like my videos, give me a big old thumbs up and a like. Also, uh, subscribe. Hit that little button down there, subscribe. Um, I've got quite a few videos up, but I am having a very hard time getting my subscribership up. Apparently, I'm not doing something right. Uh, it's my voice. I'm not for sure what it is. Whatever it is, put it in a comment below and tell me. Um, on that note, Seattle, I'm going to let you go. Have a good night. Seattle, America, and all points beyond.